Good morning, YouTube. So, what's in the trunk today? Uh, we got a new charger that was um, sent to us so that we could try it out, see what's up with it. Um, haven't heard of this company. It's a new one. A lot of EVSCs are hitting the market. Uh, very basic. Uh, I mean, what do they do? They just switch on and off power after the car communicates with it. And then they may be power limited uh, within either the vehicle or the EVSE. So, here's a new one from Affy EV. Uh, we just got this one uh, just a few days ago. I want to open it up, show you what's up with this. And, um, you know, I, all I did was just pop the piece of plastic on the bottom right here to make it a little bit easier for one-handed viewing and uh, recording here. But uh, there's a lot of these hitting Amazon on the market. Uh, yeah, you don't need to have one that came with your vehicle anymore. There's so many of them out there very inexpensive this one after the instant uh coupon i think this thing was only 100 bucks uh retail so i think regular it's like 119 ish and i think after the 10 or 15 dollar instant rebate that always goes on uh I'll, ha I'll have it linked in the description below the this exact one but uh i don't know if this is a level one and level two or if this is just level two but let's open this thing up and see what it's all about so okay it comes in a bag right off the get-go. All right, so I will uh, move this out of the way. So we got a nice little box here. So let's see what's in this. It comes in a nice little bag, which is good. It's got a little zipper on it. Let's see on the other side, it's got a handle. Okay. A vehicle with a J1772 handle on it. So let's see what comes here in the bag. Now this tells you, uh, this does look like it is Wi-Fi enabled, which is kind of cool. There's some documentation here that comes with it. Looks like a some kind of a cleaning cloth. Okay. Maybe, maybe if this thing gets too hot, you can soak it and put it on the handle, but I don't believe that's what it's for. Uh, it comes with some kind of cloth. Uh, okay, we got a bag here. I don't know what the bag is for. Maybe just to protect the handle, but there's a little... Affy EV bag. Uh, okay, here is your user manual. This is in all your different languages. Cool. Let's see what else it says in here. Portable EV charger cable. It's in all the different languages. Um, looks like we can go 16 amp. It does say 232 volts, so this might go up to 240 volts. Let's see. Uh, I mean, I know that's not in English there, but. Let's go to the English page. All right, so 3.6 kilowatts. So this can go 16 amp at 220. That's awesome. Uh, it goes 110 to 250 single phase. So this will be able to um, hit all of your normal uh, power ratings. Um, it does say there's a 7.2 and a 11 kilowatts. So all the way up to, uh, you know, if you have three phase, um, 400 volt but it looks like uh we can go probably 18 to 32 amps we'll see about that um six to eight meters cable length here's your operating temperatures some really a lot of these now are having these i mean that's that's the europe spec that's not the j1772 uh i know this is probably sold worldwide that's why they have that that uh, three phase there for for our European buddies. Um, but a lot of these EVSCs have these cool little screens on them. Um, and you can see a lot of cool stuff. See everything that's going on. Looks like it comes with a handle holder with some screws and some uh, anchors right there. Just your run of the mill stuff you can get at the store. It does come with a, this looks like a, uh, this is a 620 plug. Okay, so right now off the bat, this is only going to go up to 16 amps. So a 20 amp circuit, uh, your regular 620 plug there. And then this will convert it over to 110. Awesome. Easy piece of cake. And then here is your the main module for it. Pretty cool. Okay, let's go plug this thing in. All right, so over here on the wall, we've got our 620 plug. I'm going to unplug that right now. That is hooked up to uh, my wall connector up there. So, okay. 
looking at this cable right off the bat, uh, you are limited just on this exact unit because of the size of the cable. Uh, I don't believe it's etched anywhere exactly what size this is. It looks like a uh, maybe a 12-3. Um, so your maximum you can do is you know your 16 amp continuous on a 20 amp circuit. So let's go ahead and plug this guy in. Here she comes up. Automatically goes up to 16 amps, which is the max for this, which is great. Um, it says there's a fault. We'll see what's going on here. This is the first time I ever plugged it in. You can see there's Wi-Fi. Uh, wi That's awesome. I don't know why there's a fault. We will go ahead and unplug this. Plug it back in. This could be a, okay, 12 volts idle. It's blinking E4 fault. Click and hold this button maybe. Function select, change current, ground protection, not ground protected. Do I click and hold it, I think? Change our current. Okay, there you can go down to 6 amp, 8, 10, 13, 16. I think if you click and hold, I think that's it's kind of standard on these things, yes. So I don't know what this E4 fault means. There's nothing on the back. Pretty, pretty interesting. I don't know why there's only 12 volts right there. I'm looking at the, uh, where my charge handle is. So I don't know what's going on with this guy, but, uh, let's, let's assume it was working. <laughs> um, we would probably have a, uh, a green idle right here. So, um, I'll plug it and plug it back in one more time. Let's see. I don't know what this E4 fault is. But anyways, not doing too good with this cheap $100 charger here. But I just wanted to, um, let's see. Light is not blinking on the bottom of it. Oh, it is blinking red. So, let's see. Let's watch it. One, two, three, four. So, it's blinking four. Flashes four times. Ground fault. So, let's try this. Let's go in here. I know this is grounded. This There's no ground fault on this. Um, so, let's go in here again. Let's hold this button. Okay. And we'll go to uh, not ground protected. Just click and hold it, I guess. Okay. Idle. Well, there you go. Now it's working. So there could be something wrong with the ground inside the top of here or the actual ground plug on this side. Um, leaving it the way it was let's go back over here to um let's hold this and put it back on 16 amps change current click and hold the button put it back up to 16 amps click and hold the button there we go so 16 amps don't know why that the ground fault is coming up on there. I'll have to look at some of the reviews. I know this was this one's new and just came out. So let's see if it saves our settings. So I'm going to unplug it. And I'll plug it back in. Let's see if it saves our settings. It does save the settings. So you see that the ground is not there anymore. So um, perfectly fine. Uh, don't know why. Again, it could be the cable. It could be something inside the box here. We don't know. It also could be that since it's got Wi-Fi, we may need to hook it up to our Wi-Fi, download the application, update the firmware in this. This might be a little bit outdated, and it could just have some, because um, these things are kind of smart. Not super, but they're kind of smart. But there you go. Um, let's talk about the uh, charge handle. Assuming everything's good with this thing. 
Um, plastic, plastic button. Sixteen amp is max. Okay, so this this specific one, the Affy One Ten Tac One, is specifically uh, only for sixteen amps. So good. Uh, I'm glad that this thing won't go over 16 amps because that cable will not take it. Uh, as far as the thickness of the J1772 handle and wire attached to it to the EBSE, uh, looks decent. Let's see what we got here. Um, so this is 18 gauge. For, so your, um, your main connectors are 14 gauge and you have 18 gauge for your grounding communication. So yeah, I think we're good there. Um, good only up to 300 volts, which is interesting because inside the manual said that they had a, uh, a three phase 400 volt, it probably has a different handle. Obviously, they don't use this J1772 overseas. Um, but there you go, this is the the AFI FEV uh, J1772 portable charging cable with a 110 adapter. It comes with a 620. Uh, let me know what you think about this. Uh, off the bat, I'm going to say that since it had a ground fault automatically, this does not have one. Uh, you can probably see off my charge point here, if I plug that in, there won't be a ground fault off of it. And that guy up there, when you plug it in, will not have a ground fault off of it either. So I'm leaning back towards it's this guy here. You have to look for a manual or whatever. The rest of the stuff in this bag, uh, there is another handle here. Um, I don't know if you would want this to carry for the bag or, but there's another handle here. Um, you got that adapter. You got this for your wall for more of a permanent solution and these weird things, but there you go. Just want to show you guys, it is working. I do have it plugged into the vehicle. Kind of cool. It is showing a indicator that it is charging the vehicle. You can see that I just plugged in the juice going in, the current temperature, uh, the voltage currently, how many amps is going to it. So this might be what is allowed. That might be what's currently available. I don't really know what this center one is. I'll have to look it up, but there's the speed, 15.3 amps. 242 volts. So that is the voltage looking behind me on the vehicle. That is the voltage. Maybe this is the ground voltage. Um, I don't know. I, I really don't know there. Blue light, it's blinking, it's working. So even though I had a ground fault, it's still working perfectly fine. Last little tidbit here. You can see this ground connector, right? It says it's grounded. Um, we're using the 110 adapter. This is a dedicated 110 line that I have run out here. Um, and we don't, we're don't. we back on grounded and there's no fault. So I will take a look at that, but that's been here for 10 years. There's been no issues with it. Maybe there's some dirt in there or whatever, but I'll take a look at this later. Um, I'm not seeing any issues. Even if I plug in my charge point here, you know, this will go and it'll go back to green uh on the side of this thing there is an indicator you can see if there is a grounding issue the indicator will show up but uh we're pretty good here on that so that was my original UBSC. so we're we're good um it could be it could be this cable here um i don't know but just showing you it works perfectly fine off of 110 it is showing 16 amps on uh 123 volts so that would probably be a little bit excessive on a standard 15 amp circuit. So that probably would pop your circuit inside. Uh, suggestion would be go in here to your settings. Click this button here. Uh, we go down the current, click and hold if it would work. And then we would probably put this down to uh, probably 13 you know between uh 12 and 13 amps i think it doesn't go 10 so uh we would probably be safe at 10 um unless you really know that there's nothing else in the circuit you could probably put it up to 13 but uh, the code is usually 80 percent of that circuit so um there we go that's what i would put it on if i was on 110 so thanks for watching it guys i just wanted to do these couple tests showing you it is working 
uh, it is working off of 110. We will just sort out whatever that grounding issue is. So thanks for watching. Have a good one.